All right, cardio and core, and the abs just want more. All right, Orange Theory at Home crew, my name is Coach Rick. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm here to guide you through your dynamic warm up for today's cardio and core focused workout. Okay, we've got a six minute block ahead of us, six exercises, all done one minute each. So I'm gonna walk you through those exercises right now, and then we'll get you guys started, okay? So first exercise, Halo. You can do this one with any tool, but ideally nice, something nice and solid. Water bottles work really well since you should have one handy anyways. Um, but from here, it doesn't matter if you do it standing or kneeling. I'm just going to go kneeling so you can see me in the video. But the goal here is to take the arms all the way around behind your head and then switch directions and go back the other way. So make sure you're keeping that strong, stable upper body position while your arms move around that joint. So your next exercise, you can set your water bottle down. Squat to stand, so you want to be able to reach forward. You're going to sink down into as low of a squat as you can, and then you're going to extend those legs. Like you're trying to get through that hamstring posterior chain activation. So again, squat, and then bring yourself back up, okay? So from here, we're going to go into a, a bird dog alternating arm and leg. So for that one, you want to make sure you're pushing your heel back and reaching forward from the opposite hand to opposite leg, and then planting the hand knee again, and then reaching opposite arm, opposite leg again. So you're gonna be doing that the entire time alternating. Okay, from here you're gonna go into hip rocks. So make sure you've got space on your side. You're gonna kick one heel out as far as you can, and then you're gonna sink back, like you're trying to get your butt to sit back down onto your other heel, and then come back and forward. So for this one, you will be doing 30 seconds per side. Um, so keep an eye on your time to so you get a chance to do the other side. From here, we're going to go into a supine knee to chest. So you're going to be laying down all the way to your mat. You're going to tuck one knee in and hug it into your chest as tight as you can. And then switch sides and switch. So you're trying to, again, extend that leg as far as you can. Let the heel rest on the ground if you need to. But again, one minute alternating sides. Last exercise, you need a little bit more space again. Make a nice solid V position with your legs. Okay, you need to be able to reach forward at the end of the position. So you're gonna rock back. So it's called a reverse roll to kick out. You're gonna rock back, bring your forearms in, bring your knees in, and then kick everything out and reach forward again as far as you can. So remember, you're gonna rock back as far as you're able to, kick it forward like you're trying to drive your heels into the wall in front of you. Okay, so remember, Six exercises, one minute each.
not a high hope I'm not an almost I'm better with my weakness showing Exposed, still growing If I got one shot in life Keep my eyes wide Cause I'm living real fast in double time There ain't no box, ain't no box That you can label with my name Ain't no way, ain't no way You can fit me in a frame Cause, Cause I, I wanna, wanna make way No time to play safe I wanna make change Never gonna be an almost Just because I'm too scared to fall I push it back a little When life's pin me to the wall Don't wanna play it back in slow-mo Oh, think about the time gone I'm gonna climb the fence that I've been stuck I've been stuck waiting on There ain't no box, ain't no box That you can label with my name Ain't no way, ain't no way Remember guys, we are looking for quality over quantity. Make every rep count. All right guys, we are starting block one, eight and a half minutes of core and cardio. The core is gonna be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest to stand yourself up and get ready for 30 seconds of cardio. The core exercise is gonna change, the cardio is gonna stay the same for block one here. So your first one is a hollow rock. Sitting on the ground, shoulders are over top of the hips, pull the belly button in, Arms are coming up, think biceps to your ears, and the legs are gonna straighten. You're going to rock back, coming back up onto the glutes, pause for a second, and back down. You wanna find that balance at the top, one second pause, and back onto your back. Option is to bend the knees, or place your hands for support. Plank, Spider-Man, elbows underneath those shoulders in that low plank, straight line from head to heel, squeeze the core, squeeze the quads. You're gonna bring that right knee to the right tricep, keeping the shoulder anchor square. Option here is from the knees. Back onto your backs for your static crunch, knee tuck, lying down, shoulders down away from those ears, hands are flat on the ground, shoulders elevate, legs are at a hover. You're going to exhale, pull the knees into your chest and full extension out, keeping the low back on the ground. Now your option is bend the knees, heel tap, knees into the chest, palms to elbows. Hands start underneath those shoulders, high plank position. You're going to bring yourself down, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. What are those hips doing? Keep them square, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. Option, we can go down to the knees. Next one is your sit up to alternating punch. Your thumbs are on your shoulders, try not to swing. You're gonna sit all the way up at the top, obliques cross as you punch, back down, all the way up. Punch, punch, and return. If we need an option, we're going to crunch, heel touch, heel touch, and that is one, all right? Now, for our cardio, we have a broad jump to shuffle. Starting at the back of your mat, feel your hip width apart, pull the belly button in, bend your knees, bend your hips. You're gonna take one big jump forward, land soft, one, two, three, four, for that shuffle. So again, broad jump, one, two, three, four. If we need a low impact option, big step. One, two, three, four. All right, guys, that is your first block. Let's get going.
Let's get sweaty and let's get strong. What's up, Orange Nation? Coach Tom coming at you from Halifax, Nova Scotia. We're going to move into block number two here. So it's eight and a half minutes. Same setup as block number one. Those five core exercises, they're going to stay the same. Now that we're going into block number two, those five core exercises, 45 seconds. Think about moving with control. I want you to really focus on squeezing those abs. Engage that core. Feel that burn. The only thing that's going to change in this block is going to be that cardio. We're going to go into a three-step lateral sprint. So starting in that standing set position, shoulders are back and down, slight bend of the knee, feet right under the hips. Three steps across that room, powerful drive with that knee to that ceiling. Think speed and power with those feet, strong drive with those arms, light on those toes. Options, slow that movement down and take the power out. Remember, this cardio part, we're going to get those heart rates up, get uncomfortable. Eight and a half minutes of work, it's gonna get spicy. Let's get to work, Orange Nation.
It's all cardio and core. Let's get those abs sore. All right, Orange Tribe, I'm going to guide you through your block three. This is going to be another eight and a half minute block. You've got five exercises with that sixth exercise mixed in there as well. This time is going to be a squat jack. So remember with the squat jack, nice neutral squat position. You're going to sink into your squat, quick pop to the center, and back down into the squat. Remember, option here, walk it in, walk it out, and squat, in and out, and squat. Eight and a half minutes, let's go. I can't resist, I'm powerless, like a fly to light. From out the mist, I see a shine. You're the one for me, and I've been known to give in to easily before. But I know I feel something I've never felt before. Then you told me, Stay, don't worry, be strong, come along, be with me. It's not too late to change, don't worry, be strong, come along, be with me, I'm feeling like a
running around, caught up in a sense of wonder. A tide pulls from within her, it pulls you in. All I'm looking for is your best effort. Your goal is to keep moving through this block even if you slow down. All right, guys, we got our final block, block four here. The end is near. We got three minutes left. We have three core exercises and your goal is consistent movement for the time, aiming for three to six rounds. Now, your first of three exercises is that hip raise. So coming down to the ground, the legs are straight, head and shoulders are relaxed on the ground. Now here you're going to use the core. This is not momentum. So you're going to exhale, pull the belly button back to your spine to lift those hips off the ground. Try to pause in between each rep to prevent those knees from bending and swinging. Now your option here, you can bend the knees, same thing, pull the belly button back to your spine. Try not to flick the legs. Exercise two, legs are straight, arms are straight. We got our toe reach. You're going to exhale, pull the belly button back to the ground as you lift the shoulders off, reaching your fingertips for your laces. Option, bend the knees, knees are still over the hips. Same thing, exhale as you come up, lifting the shoulders off the ground. Final movement is your sprinter sit up. No swinging the arms, thumbs are on the shoulders. You're going to exhale up quick, opposite arm, opposite foot, coming down, slow, control. Up quick slow and controlled on the return. And your option here, you can crunch, reach for that toe, back down, over to the other side. You can still move with tempo here. This is it guys, our final block. Grab your mat and let's get going.
All right, Orange Tribe, I know you're at home, but we're still in this together. Awesome work, everybody. We've got one block to go. Three and a half minutes. It's your cool down and flexibility block. So we've got four stretches for you. Take a seat on that mat or towel. We're going to start with that hurdler stretch. So extend that one leg. We're going to bring that opposite foot into that inner thigh. I want you to lift the lower back out of the hips. Lift that chest up, shoulders back and down. Hips and shoulders stay square. Pull the toes to the nose. Hinge at the hips and reach for that toe. 20 seconds on the left, 20 seconds on the right. Then we're going to go into that cross body stretch. We're going to take that foot, step it over that leg. We're going to take that opposite elbow. You're going to drive that elbow into that knee. You're going to start to feel a nice stretch into the glute. Then we're going to lift that chest up nice and tall, long and strong through that spine. We're going to drive that knee across the body and we're going to turn that head over the opposite shoulder. 20 seconds on the left, 20 seconds on the right. Then we're gonna go into that lion quad stretch. So full extension of that body. Make sure you're supporting that head so that neck stays in line with that spine. We're gonna grab that foot, make sure that those knees stay stacked, slight squeeze off that glute. We're gonna get that nice stretch through that quad. Again, 20 seconds on the left, 20 seconds on the right. Your final stretch of the day is going to be that child's pose. So hands are gonna be out in front of us. Big toes together, nice wide stance with those knees. We're going to slowly drop that head between those arms. Think about dropping those hips down to those heels. You're going to start to feel a nice stretch into that lat, into that lower back, into those hips. Focus on that breathing and try and melt into that mat. 20 seconds to hold this stretch. That's our flexibility block, everybody. We love you. We miss you. Happy Friday. I hope to see you guys soon. If I had